Double K Beats, Double K Productions, I am here again with another tutorial for you in pre the Studio 1-3. I just want to go ahead and say subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, you'll be notified every time I post something. So be a friend and subscribe. But this tutorial, I haven't made one of, this, one of these yet, so I just want to make one and uh, make it for you. This is how you master a track. How you master any track. I have a lot of tutorials about me mixing now. I just want to show you that I can master and how I go about mastering my tracks. Now, every track that you get or if you're doing it, it's going to be different. So, use the plugins that's right for that track. That's all I want to say. Let's get into it. In this case, I want to explain I'm in the song mode. The song mode. I have the professional mode. So I got project and I got song. I master all my stuff in project, but you can master in song. So if you got prime or artist, you can master it, and master it in there. So let me jump over there and show you what I got going on over there. Then I'm going to jump back over here. Then do show you that I got the same stuff. And then we're going to go over what I use, what plugins I use. Let's go. Cause all about what people wanna eat. Hey, ain't that crazy, right? Put speaking on something more like the best the consequence is living like that is. I was grown away. So find your own me. In the end, I will have to find and let it go. Staying it to yourself is what you need to. Alrighty then, as you seen, I did it in the project file. I just wanted to show y'all that I did master in there. But in this case, um, you can't add a track in the project file and I needed the track so I can talk to y'all, you know. So I added the track in here to just show y'all and make a tutorial for you. So let's get into what I got going on here. This track is me. You can find it on YouTube. I mean, you can find it on Spotify, Google Play, whatever. Kilo is my name, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. This track is just a reference track. I didn't even do nothing to this track. This track is off my album called Welcome to My Life. If you want to know about me, there it is. Glimpse of it. You heard it. Glimpse of it. This is, uh, this is, this is all it's for, a reference track. This sounds about similar to this, so I just wanted to go off what I mastered on here and try to get the levels and all that good stuff to sound like with this track. So let's get into it. Let's take that crammer tape off my voice. I apologize for that. All right, this is what I got going on on this track. I'm going to go ahead and turn them off and explain to y'all what, what, what plugins that I use to master this track. And... Then we're gonna get then we're gonna listen to it and then we're gonna turn them on, turn them off. I got the center. All I done was this to this is take that low end and make it center. Make it straight. I didn't want it in the size. You never want the bass or the or the low ends, the kicks or whatever in that in that in them sides. So I just centered it. Hit the good way plug in. That's what it's for. This is what you want to use. And I use that top of the chain so I can already know that that's in the center and start mixing it down. In the case I don't have a... Uh, SL, SSL by Waves. I think I said that right. I didn't have that compressor, which that is a good compressor. I used a demo before, and it was excellent to master a track uh, or anything to mix it, whatever. I don't have those, but I need to get those. Uh, but in the case, I found this one to be good, too, to master. So I just go ahead and put the master on, load it on up. Damn, I messed that all up. I load it up. Mastering right there. Let's do this. I apologize. Let's 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 get it back in there. Cause I don't know what I tweaked. Alright. That's all I done. Put the mastering on threshold. I did mess with threshold because it, it was hitting too far and I just wanted the sweet spot right there. I felt it sound best for my ears. So it's at negative twenty-two dot seven. Look at the oh, right, right here on the screen. Damn, I just fucked that all up. I just get it back to right, right there. That's where I had it. Yeah. 1973. And that's pretty much it on this uh, compressor. That's what I use. I just want a compressor going in already. Top of the chain. This this VMR Virtual Mix Rack by uh, Slate Digital. 
75 and that thickness shimmer is the highest thickness is that warmth putting that warmth back into the into the uh the whole track and just know when you're mastering the track it's the whole thing that you're mastering you're not just messing with the vocals or the kicks or the stands you know all that you mess with the whole track so subtle things go a long way especially if you use all the plugins that i have so you want to do subtle things. And the Foul Filter Pro EQ, I want to go ahead and EQ it going in. Let me do that at the top. So that's what I done. I just thought this sounded horrible so to the ears. This sounded horrible to the ears. You know, that, that low end, I just wanted to sweeten it up. Very subtle, 25, .25 dB. And uh, them highs, them highs was really, really piercing my ears. So I just wanted to take that down a little bit. And this is where a good sweet spot was for my vocals and make them present. P, the P-Tech, whatever it's called by ways, P-Tech. Uh, very subtle things, as you see right here, dot four. And right here, a DB. I wanted the uh, high frequency sit at eight, the little uh, band, whatever. The, the pinpoint eight, eight hertz or whatever you want to call it. And the 30 hertz right there. I just wanted to pinpoint that and look, higher that up because what sounds best for my ears is what I think sounds good for every other ear. So that's how I go, that's how I go about mixing too. What sounds good for me, I'm gonna think it sounds good for other people, you know? So that's all, that's all about mixing and mastering what sounds good to the ears and what's really not piercing and what's not, you know, everything's up in front, it's present. That's all you're trying to get. EQ. I mean, Isotope, Isotope 6, that's what I, I just go ahead and end that. This is the last thing I want to end on my chain when I'm mastering. Isotope, I got the Equalizer, Dynamics, Exciter, Imager, and Maximizer. I can go over each one of these and what it does. Hopefully you have it and you master or you mix with it. You know what it does, the Dynamics. You can mess with each chain, you know, so that's what I've done. I seen on, on my level of media that it was cl uh, clipping True Peak or whatever it clipped a little bit. So I just brought this one down. Now I'm good. Exciter. I just like to put it. All right. I like to put all my mix at 50 so I can go ahead and raise it up and get slight, slight, slight difference in it. So you can mess with these and see which one's good for you. I had it on warm, but it sounded too boxy for me. I don't know if that's just me or not. It just sounds too boxy. So I put it right here and it sounded excellent and max i'm gonna let y'all hear it. just wait and uh max i'm gonna put the ceiling i like my ceiling at three dot three db and uh threshold at three negative three dot six and don't really know what the hell that does i don't even know what that means but this one sounded this one the best to me you know so i use it and that's what i got going on the isotope DS, like I said, them, them highs was really, really pissing me. So let's go ahead and turn it up because uh, I did my little research and it, it was hitting right. And that's just DS for them highs. Put it on the frequency that what I thought sounded best to take out a little bit, not too much, not not taking out too much of them highs. But it, it takes some harsh, some harsh sounds, some harsh sounds, even on the uh, shakers that I got in the beat takes that down and just free old lexicon uh reverb plug in i even got that many presets to it it's free uh diggy can't even tweak these knobs it's the only one you can mess with and i put it on two percent very subtle but i think it makes a difference you might not think by listening to it let's get into it let's turn them all on one by one and let's go through this track it's called end of the road by yours truly and uh Leave me comments, let me know what you think. How about some once bring a boat and pray for It don't make sense to me, I guess it never will. The message I'm trying to send will never get in. Of the minds of you, what I speak is all true. What I'm thinking of you, turn your speakers up to listen to get a clue. Marky, who are you? No one's gonna listen to you, that might be true. But I'm here to tell you and all of you, never give up on you. Try for what you believe in. No one's gonna want to see you win, make the most of it. All running to rich, when rich playing too hard to get rich. Want you to quit, but tell rich, I'm gonna keep coming for rich. Uh, standing ovation to the one that give. Don't let other people tell you how to live. Live your life to the fullest. Got these chains and these ropes, I'm gonna stick that 
tryna pull us under. I'm at the end of the road and I don't know. I'm at the end of the road and I don't know. Someone tell me which way to go, cause I don't know. Someone tell me which way to go. I'm at the end of the road. Time to take these ropes off and let me go. And that's pretty much it on my chain of mastering. Everybody hit me up and say mix and mastering. This is how I go about mastering the track. Mixing is totally different. I take my time with that. It takes me a while to mix. So if you hire me or whatnot, just know you ain't going to get it back that day. You know what I'm saying? Just know that. Master, I mean, mixing don't just, you can't just do it in 20 minutes. Not me. I mean, whoever can professionals, whatever you want to call, say, they probably can, but I don't think they do it in just one day, too, because they know how long that shit takes. Crammer tape. All I do is do put it on a uh, preset right here, clean and open, mastering clean and open, turn that, uh, turn the record level down a little bit, put the flutter, uh, wow, and flutter to four, uh, five dB, and then I take that air out. I mean, you can still hear the uh, the little air in there, but it's not like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sorry. It's, just, it's in there just a little bit. And I turn that off. Now, you're wondering how you get your levels to sound like these levels. In the case of that, let's get into this. I like to turn that crema tape on. Sorry if it's messing with my, let's turn it off. Talk to you. T-Rex, all I do is put a, a preset on it, load that four plus four dB, put my cell in that negative three, as you've seen in Isotope, I've done the same thing in Isotope. I put that uh, cell in that negative three dB, so I wanna do the same thing here. Yes, you can, Put the maximizer, whatever you call it, an isotope, and master the track like that, and limit the track like that, so you get your levels. But I don't think that sounds too good for me. And in the case, I don't have to put it down here on the post to get it like that. I just don't. I like this one to put the finished product on it, the T-Rex brick wall limiter. So I go ahead and put that DB on A4. Now that put me at the level on my respiratory track. It put me at you know, the uh, the RMS levels right there where I want it. So let me turn everything on for y'all, and I'm going to turn that uh, level meter on, and y'all can hear it. I'm going to turn my stuff off so y'all won't hear me talk. And there it is. As you see the level, I got the true peak going on. Nothing was hitting. Nothing, no red. You didn't see any red. None of that. Let me turn this off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Sorry, it might be loud as hell. I'm sorry about that, man. Turn your speakers down, matter of fact. I should have said that at the beginning. But obviously, when you know you're mastering the track, everything's going to be loud. But uh, as you see, my little... My little chain of plugins on my master. That's what I got going on. Let me switch over here and you ain't gonna hear me for a second.
same thing. I just did it in projects. What I done in project, I brought it over just to show y'all and make a tutorial for you. Y'all, you, shoot my brains out. I always say y'all, what we at on time? 15 minutes, damn good, yes. Doing good, I got two minutes to talk to you. But that's what I done. This is how you master a track. This is Double K Beats. That's my plug-in chain. I ain't saying copy it. Do what you do when you're mastering the track. Whatever, whatnot, that's what I like to do. That's what I done with this one. I'm going to do that with this. This is me. When I show y'all stuff, that's because, you know, y'all don't send me stuff. But I do want to say this before I end this tutorial. Man, y'all got to stop. If you watch my tutorials, you should know how I go about mixing. Don't ask me what I, what I mix and what I, what I done and all that. Because I promise you, you ain't look me up on the internet to find me. You look me up on tutorials that I'm making. So if you don't know what the hell I'm mixing or what my mix sound like, don't even contact me. It's all about business. I, I'm, this is, it's just I have to say this. Contact me knowing that what I mix, what I'm, what I already done. I'm making these tutorials for you. So when I'm showing you how I go about mixing, how you going to sit there and ask me, do I have something I mix? That don't make no sense. Look at my YouTube channel. I have my videos on there, my music on there, all that. Vote for Pedro is one of my songs. I mixed it. You know what I'm saying? The World is one of my songs. I mixed it. So don't come to me and ask me what the have I mixed when you found me off of YouTube. That doesn't make any sense. So don't ask me that. It's all about business. If I said I was going to do a free mix for you, send me your stuff. If you don't want me to mix it, then don't holler at me. You get what I'm saying? Don't come to me and ask me what I mix and then not email me back because that don't make any sense. You know what I mix. You know how my mix and sound. If you don't like it, you shouldn't even hit me up at the beginning. Not going to hurt my feelings. I have clients that I mix and I send back to them that likes it. So it's about business. When I say I'm going to do something free, I'm doing it free. Don't ask me how much I charge when I just make a tutorial saying I'm doing it free. Once I get to that 10 mark of people sending me their mixes and I get to that 10, I'm done doing it for free. Get what I'm saying? So I just had to get that off. Thank you for tuning in the tutorial. 